Justin Lucas Savage of Backcountry Treks. I am in the uh, backcountry uh, Pike National Forest here in Colorado uh, on the side of Red Mountain skiing some glades today. Amazing day. We're in the middle or at the beginning of uh, a storm. We're going to get up to about two feet here in the next uh, about 48 hours. Going skiing, baby. So, look, check these out. These are from Outdoor Research uh, from OR. This is the storm bound mitt. If your hands get cold, I have problems with circulation apparently uh, in my feet and my hands. You can ask my wife that when we get into bed at night. My feet and the hands are just frigid and they drive her nuts. So, I love, love, love these mittens. Uh, I've never toured in a pair of mittens before, and my hands always get cold. And so this is like an answer to, to my prayers here. So let me see if I can explain um, what's happening. So OR started with a layer of 800 fill down, really a, a high loft down that just traps that air and keeps you warm. So I started with that right in the middle. Now what they did, uh, we'll assume here my thumb is that 800 filled down. They sandwiched that between two layers of a synthetic insulation. So it, it, moisture isn't a problem. If you're gonna sweat in these, it's gonna pull them out away from your hands. It's not going to uh, to trap that air, or to trap rather that, uh, that moisture in there. And man, these things are warm. So the insulation that you see is actually Actually, from this seam right here, that's kind of where my hand starts. Most of the insulation is on this end, and you have leather kind of on the on the palm here. So the insulation is on the outside. So um, the theory behind that, if you're just out, you know, around town and your hands are cold, these are probably not the mitts because these are meant to be wrapped around a ski pole, and the insulation is on the outside, and the hands kind of keeping itself warm on the inside. So I wore these to a Christmas parade, and it gets even just walking around the block gets a little cold out out here um, where my pinky is because the insulation ends right at the top and the outside of that pinky is right on the outside uh, and then I think my thumb is just close enough to uh, to my pointer finger here uh, that it, it makes a difference and, and keeps that warm so it gets a little bit cold on the outside now something that I can't show you I should say it gets cold on the outside unless you're in the skin track uh, you're going downhill and you got the ski poles and you got those fist clenched that'll keep you warm um, so it's kind of like a glove inside. People tried to explain this to me in mittens before I actually ever had a pair like this. But there's, there's, it's not a glove, but there's these, these lines that kind of go down across that you just slide your fingers into. So if you picture those lines right there that are just sewn, and I think it keeps uh, the mitten together real well and keeps that insulation in place. I thought it would drive me nuts but I really, really like it. It's a soft, warm uh, kind of micro fleece on the inside. You have a really big, so the hardest thing about mittens is getting them on, right? You have a real big pull tab right here, so you can even get your thumb in there without a problem when you have your mittens on. And these suckers cinch down. It's, and again, I can get that off with, uh, with my mitten on and the other on the other hand. And it has a real nice stretch to this as well. And so, you can cinch that right up if you want. Throw your cuffs of this trail breaker jacket also by OR over it. Love these mittens. All right, I'm gonna go skiing. I'm Justin Lucas Savage of Backcountry Treks. These are the Stormbound mitts from Outdoor Research.